Those images and stories coming out of Maui are just heartbreaking. Stephanie Evans and her family are among the thousands of people who lost their homes in the Lahaina fire. Stephanie joins me now. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for being with us tonight. You know, as we heard, residents are now being allowed to return to their properties there. Will you go? How are you preparing for what you might see? I, I think I decided I am going to go today. They open the road at noon, which is in like 30 minutes. Um, I, I'm just nervous. To I know it's there's nothing left but ashes. But um, I, I left my cats there, so I just want to go back and see if they're around. If you can, and I can't imagine the pain you feel right now, but can you take us through the past couple of days for you to Tuesday night when those fires broke out? When did you realize you needed to evacuate? Kind of how fast did everything happen? You know, it was crazy because that morning they had said the fires were contained. We smell smoke. We went outside. I talked to my neighbors and we were like, are we okay? And they were like, yeah, it's the news reported. It was 100% contained within like 30 minutes. So we were like, we're good. Um, my my mom thankfully brought my kids back. She had taken them for ice cream, just trying to keep them busy because the winds were making power lines fall. That you know, we had no power. She was just trying to keep them busy, and thank God she brought them back when she did because it was a matter of like. 20 minutes of being all together where we started smelling smoke again. But this time it was different because you could see the embers falling. And the, this smoke came in so quick. I didn't have time to think. I just grabbed the kids and my purse and we just jumped in the car and left. And I thought we were leaving for like a few hours. I thought we would come back once it was contained again. I didn't think I was evacuating for for good, you know. You have two sons, a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. How are you explaining yeah. to them what's going on right now? What was that moment when you had to take them and, and go? I just was like, it's real. We've got to get out of here. And, you know, of course, my my kids are kids, you know, they, they were like, I want my shoes. I want, you know, they're basketball players. They just wanted their little things. I like let him grab one thing. And I'm just like, I just knew it was so, something in me said it was different this time. And I was just like, we just have to go now. My older son has some asthma and I just didn't want him breathing that in. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know we had lost our entire homes until about nine o'clock Tuesday night. We got a text from my neighbor who's a firefighter actually. Um, and he said, everything's gone. And so I just fell to the ground. I wasn't, I wanted to be strong for them. But in that moment, I just, I just started weeping and they just, you know, they were there for me. It, it was, should have been the opposite, but they really are really resilient. Kids are so strong. And so I'm so thankful that they're alive. There's a lot of kids that are not alive right now. And I'm so thankful that you and your sons are safe. You know, through this horrible tragedy, we have heard many heartwarming stories of community coming together. Talk a little bit about how crucial this community has been for you in these past couple of days, Stephanie. It's, it's life-changing for all of us because it's not just me, it's my neighbors. It's, you know, our basketball coach, he lives in our neighborhood. Like, He's still running practice today. Like he's like, we are not, we're in this together. And so seeing, and they're all gonna show up with for the boys today with new shoes. I have people from the mainland sending the kids clothes, you know, they just, we went to a card store, just he loves collecting cards and we just went there and he just was like, my house burned down, I don't have any cards. And the guy just, they gave him so much stuff. It's heartwarming because as a mom, you have to keep going for your kids. You can't really stop parenting and being there and they don't really get the, the severity of it. So being able to have everyone support me so I can support them is just everything. And just seeing the community, we really are so strong behind it is, it's such a tight knit community. Our school is gone, the kids school, and that's a huge community for me. And so we've been rallying behind each other and trying to um, 
just trying to help one another. What do you need? What can we do? You know, do you need housing? People don't have places to live. I'm so thankful and grateful that I have a roof over my head right now. Please know that we are thinking of you and your family and so many others in this tragedy. Thank you, Stephanie Evans, for taking some time to share your story with us tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.